Ottawa is in way over its head by attempting a massive transformation of its information technology, IT, systems under Shared Services Canada, says a scathing indictment of the agency's failings since 2011. The Government of Canada has vastly underestimated the size, scale and complexity of this effort. They are attempting the largest and most complex public sector shared service implementation ever considered, concludes a $1.35 million report by international consultants. We lack confidence in the ability of SSC, Shared Services Canada, and the GC, Government of Canada, to successfully execute the plan. The January 12, 2017, report by consultant Gartner include was ordered by the federal government last August, after repeated failures of the Phoenix payroll system and complaints from departments about Shared Services Canada's inability to deliver technology upgrades, including new email systems. U.S.-based Gartner brought together a five-person expert panel to examine the agency and its projects, a group that included executives experienced in public sector digital transformations in California, Massachusetts and Northern Ireland as well as the former IBM executive who handled big projects within that firm. The report lauds the project of consolidating the federal government's information technology, including creation of a single email system, but says very little progress has been made in the last six years because of persistent management failures. Decision-making cannot follow current approaches, said the document, obtained by CBC News under the Access to Information Act. Execution must be based on agile, effective decision-making, with clear and singular accountabilities. This is the antithesis of governance today. The report repeatedly underscores the enormous scale of the consolidation project, likening it to combining the infrastructure of between 30 and 40 large banks. The consultants say Shared Services Canada is slow-footed, partly hobbled by complex procurement rules so that an email solution it chose in 2011 and still has not completed has since been outmoded by new cloud services. The world in 2016 is much different from how it was in 2011, and the expert panel and Gartner believe developments such as cloud services should be given much more prominence in SSC's future, said the 198-page report. Some of the document is redacted, including key financial information. The authors make a series of recommendations, chief of which is the appointment of a deputy minister for IT for all of government, to whom the head of Shared Services Canada would report. In April 2011, then Prime Minister Stephen Harper lauded the project to consolidate the government's IT systems and data centers, saying on the election campaign trail that year that we know we can save all kinds of money there. The new agency charged with carrying out the transformation, Shared Services Canada, was announced on August 4, 2011, after Harper won a majority. But two projects in particular went off the rails in the early going, one to consolidate cell and telephone services, the other to consolidate email services. Both have been plagued by delays, among other problems.